Hello and welcome to the IT Academy. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for great content. So here we are about to start creating our first presentation. So we're going to start a blank presentation. So this is where we have our slides. PowerPoint by default starts off with one slide and you can add more slides whenever you need to. And that one slide is where you usually type in the title of the presentation. So this presentation is about a company, a new company that has been introduced into the market. It's called Techmaru. So the title of this presentation is Introducing Techmaru. And the second placeholder, we, we will type in the slogan of the company. So that is that. Then we go to the second slide. You go and click on the new slide button. And what are we typing in the second slide? It says, who are we? So the company attempts to answer that question. Remember, this presentation is before an audience of potential customers. Okay, so that is who they are. And then we go on to create a third slide. And what is there? Our products. So these are the products sold by this company. The next slide will be where do we operate? Okay, so these are the, comp the, the countries where Techmaro operates. Now the next slide is going to answer another question. What is our future? Now the next or the last slide is this. This is the last slide. How can you benefit from our products? So this is the last slide, but it's always out of courtesy. It's always good to add a thank you slide. So I click on this one and let's say, thank you. We appreciate your presence. And we make sure that the thank you is centered. And it's always good to have a big thank you. Okay. So, yes, that is the end of the presentation for now. But you see that it's not complete. You can't have a presentation without images, without pictures, sound or video. So... We are going to add some images to enhance the presentation. Let us see where images will be required. You can see our products. These are the products they provide. So let's bring some pictures of the products to make it more convincing. To insert pictures, you simply go to insert pictures and then you Look for your pictures. Mine is on the desktop. And this is it. So the first product I'm going to pick will be the computer. The desktop computer. It comes and then I resize it. Okay. And then let's go and pick other pictures. I can pick two at a time or even all of them. Let's pick two and then you bring them here. So you click on it and resize it with this sizing handlers. So I resize it and I click on the laptop also and then resize it. So let's position them after resizing them. Okay, I put this one right here. I think there is one more picture left. And that is the scanner. Okay, so I resize the scanner and then reposition it. Okay, so I think it enhances it a bit. It tells the story better with images. Now let's go to the next slide. Where do we operate? 
So we have five countries. So I want to bring in some graphics that will represent those countries. Insert pictures. And um, let's see. We have India. Okay. So I resize it. And then let's bring in insert pictures. I can take two at a time. Ghana, the UK. Insert. They come in. I click select and then I resize it. I put it here. I resize it. And then let's see what is left. Insert picture, we have Nigeria and then the USA. Okay. So they appear. And I click the first one, I resize it. And then the second one, I click on it and then I resize it. Okay. So here are the pictures in no particular order. They don't follow the lists. It's just to tell you that these are the countries that we operate in. And then let's see the next slide. What is our future? Let's add a little emotion here by adding a question mark. What is our future? So. Okay. I just put this one here. The picture speaks a lot. That's why we're adding them. And then where we said, who are we? I'm going to add a picture there. Yes. Who are we? So that is that. So we have created a presentation with images. So we can look at the slides one after the other. And then looking at it, I also think it is a bit bare, just a plain background. Sometimes you want to get some well-designed background and there is an option for it. We want to change the background. To do that, we go to design. And you can select any of these designs. All you have to do is point at it and it changes. You can see it. There is a whole lot of designs. Black background, etc. So let's just select this one. So when you click on the design or the theme, you click on it. It applies to all the slides. You can see that our presentation is developing. When you have finished creating it, you want to present it before an audience. All you have to do is go to slideshow. You click on the slideshow tab and then you select from beginning if you want to start from the beginning. Okay, from the beginning. And this is the first slide. So you, you talk to your audience about this and you click, okay, and you click and you discuss with your audience. When you click, the slides advance for the next slide to come in. You see that when we click, the slide changes abruptly. So I click, it just changes. The transition is very abrupt. You can add some stylish transition effects if you want to. So I'm going to try that now. So let's go on to the transitions tab. The transition is simply movement from one slide to another. You can make it just straightforward or you can make it a bit more sophisticated. So transition, there are so many transition effects. You can see this one, you see it. You can select this or this. So which one should we take? There are lots of them. When you click here, you see a whole lot of them. So let me select flip. Okay, this is how it's going to be. So let's run the slideshow again. Slideshow, 
from beginning. Then I click. See, each time I click, that is a transition. You see that it happened only for the first slide. The other slides did not have that transition because I made a mistake. What was that mistake? Let's see it. I went to transitions and then I selected uh, flip. I have to click apply to all so that it applies to all the slides. So I click on that and then slideshow from beginning. So when I click, it changes. I click, it changes. That is how your presentation is going to be displayed. You could also see that when I'm making the presentation, I had to click for the slide to advance to the next slide. Okay, so each time you have to use your mouse to click, your mouse or some other device to click so that the next slide will appear. What if you want your slide to be automated? You want it to just play through without your intervention, no mouse clicking or anything like that. What you have to do then will be this. You go back to the transitions and then you go to this option here. You see that it says advanced slide. At the moment, it is on mouse click. That means it's when you click on the mouse that the slide will advance for the next slide to come. So I uncheck it. I don't want it to do that. I select this. Here I can state that I want the slide to advance after say three seconds or five seconds. I can determine the time. So advanced slide after, let's make it three seconds. One, two, three. And then apply to all. So when I go to slideshow and from beginning, I will not click the mouse or any device. The presentation or the slides will be advancing automatically until it reaches the end. So that is what we do. So this brings us to the end of this lesson. Lesson two was about creating our first presentation. Now, what are we going to do in lesson three? In lesson three, we're going to talk about animating our presentation. What we had was more of a static presentation. We're going to add a lot of animations to our presentation. So don't forget to join us in the next lesson. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. So see you next time. Bye for now.